We've all been there, making a fool of ourselves in front of our friends and even parents. We're not all blessed to be as silky with the ball as Neymar, and his skill was not developed without lots of hard work and training. So today, I have a full dribbling training session for you guys. It was designed with younger players or beginners in mind, but if you are older and more experienced, these are still excellent drills that'll help you sharpen your skills. Let's get into the video. Welcome back to the channel. The first drills I have for you are ball mastery training. These are great for a few reasons. Firstly, they will help you improve your ball control and dribbling, as well as your footwork and coordination. They are excellent for improving your ability to manipulate the ball in tight spaces. Also, they are fairly low effort. This means that you can hop into them with very little warm up first. I'd recommend maybe running a lap or two around the field or doing a dynamic warm up before this. And you can do some extra stretching in between sets too. I have four ball mastery drills to show you. The first one was V-touches with the outside of your foot, and now we're doing the same thing with the inside of our foot. This is great for getting lots of touches with the soles, laces, and inside of our foot. Next up, we're gonna make a box around the square. Do this by taking a touch across the bottom with the outside of your foot, then up with the inside of it, then roll it across the top with the same foot before pulling it back with the opposite foot. For these drills, do them for 40 seconds working and give yourself 30 seconds rest in between rounds. Do three rounds for each of these before moving on. So that improved our ball control and manipulation. Now it's time to make it a little bigger. This is the figure eight dribbling drill. It is one of my favorites. For this, set up two cones about five or six yards apart. One great thing about this drill in particular is that you can use it to test yourself. Time yourself for 30 seconds or a minute and see how many laps you can do. You'll be able to see your progress as you improve, but it's more than that. It works on turning and cutting as well as accelerating and decelerating with the ball, which are crucial skills to develop if you wanna become a good dribbler. So for this drill, do three rounds of using just your right foot, just your left foot, and both feet. Make sure that you actually use both feet for these rounds. Work for 30 seconds to a minute and take a minute rest or so in between rounds. For the third set of drills, set up a cone weave of 10 cones and then a triangle at the top. Put the farthest cone 10 yards away and the two sides five yards from the middle. Start off by weaving in and out of the cones, then accelerate around the top cone, turn, then go around both sides and finish through the starting spot. This is great because the tight cone weave will improve your ball control and dribbling in tight areas, while the triangle at the top lets you work on turning and running with the ball at speed. It kind of puts the last two drills together, but the distances are bigger so it'll help you translate to more game-like scenarios. For this, I did five different variations of cone weave dribbling, but you could really do anything you want for that part. If you want more ideas for it, then watch this video next. Anyways, go through the whole drill 20 times in total and break that up evenly depending on how many cone weave variations you use. And real quick, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like or comment. It helps me out and I love hearing from you guys. Thanks. Longtime viewers of the channel might find this drill familiar, but this time it's slightly different. For this, set up gates two yards wide and 10 yards apart down the field. This drill is designed to help you improve your dribbling at top speed. This is often an overlooked part of dribbling training, but it is very important if you want to be dangerous on counterattacks or fast breaks in games. Dribble down 30 yards with one foot and then switch before coming back. This drill has lots of flexibility too. You can make it longer if you wish, up to 40 or 50 yards, but I wouldn't go farther than that. You can also add more turning to it by weaving around the gates like this. That way, you're improving this skill while doing it in a more game realistic way since you rarely dribble straight in games. For this, do anywhere between 12 to 20 reps and take 30 seconds of rest in between. If you need, take longer rests every five or six reps since we wanna be going as fast as possible in order for us to get the most possible out of this drill. Last but not least, and by far the simplest of these drills is the move at the cone. So far, we've improved your ball control and manipulation, footwork, coordination, 
as well as turning, acceleration, deceleration, and dribbling at top speed. Now it's time to add skill moves to help us create separation from defenders. Now it's time to add skill moves to help us create separation from defenders. This is important because without these moves, the defender will always catch up to you and get the ball. Having these skills makes you unpredictable and harder to defend. Practice all your moves and as much as needed. Set the cone no closer than 10 yards from you too. That way, you can get up to speed before throwing your move. If you need moves to learn, check out this video where I go through the four best moves to beat defenders in tight spaces. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please leave a like for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.